Hello Pisces. So this is your weekly reading. I'm going to start with the tarot. So universe, what's the current energy between Pisces and the person of Pisces spine? So there's a five of wands. Okay, someone want another chance with you, but I feel like you're standing your ground. You're not wanting this person back in your life. Okay, universe, the person that's on Pisces' spine, who would like to say to Pisces, the hermit, this is someone who could have been um, horrible with communication, um, and then they want to reappear like nothing happened, okay? Because what they like to say is a hermit, so they probably was in hermit mode, but now they want to um, kind of touch base on what's really going on with them, okay? Um, looking at things differently. All right, universe, the person that's on Pisces' spine, why are they keeping hidden from Pisces? Five of Cups in reverse. This could be someone who's not, obviously they're not genuine, but this could be also someone who's not as emotionally available like they were before or as emotionally open like the way that they were, okay? Um, attached, okay? Um, probably things have changed with them, but it's like they still want to have like access to you or they still want to be with you, okay? But in a in a weird type of way. Okay, universe, the person that's on Pisces mind. How do they feel about Pisces for April the fifth to the twelfth? Okay. So there is the high priestess. Okay, so how do they feel about you? They feel like you know everything to know about them. Okay. Um they also feel like you are backing Backing away from them, you are refraining, you're not wanting to be close to them, okay? Universe, the person that's on Pisces' mind, what is their true feelings for Pisces? Two of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is someone who could have been very indecisive, could have had another person in the picture. They probably don't have deep emotions like they how they probably used to or at all, basically, but they still want this connection with you. And I feel like a lot of you guys are just not going to tolerate or accept this BS, basically. Universal person that's on Pisces' mind. What is their intentions with Pisces? The Ten of Wands, Ace of Cups, Queen of Swords. Yeah, so I feel like their intent and their attempt is basically trying to be more emotionally open as well. So Sagittarius had a similar message, um, something to do with Sag, but it's like they're trying to appear more emotionally present um, and have a better communication, okay? But they, I feel like they're doing this because they see that you're not open. So they're trying to see like, how can you be open to them? And you guys can see right through them. You can see why they're acting this way too. Universe, the person that's on Pisces' mind, what actions would they take with Pisces for April the 5th to the 12th, 2022? Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups. As an actions, emotionally, checked out so that's what i see i feel like this is someone who like want to have access to you but they emotionally checked out from this and you guys emotionally checked out and you don't want to deal with them okay so that's what i'm seeing so this is someone who obviously need help <laughs> but i see that this week they are going to try to appear more emotionally present but you guys can see through the bs okay um this person sign could be a fellow water sign pisces cancer scorpio could be sagittarius because similar message um, there's Virgo here. Okay, there's Aries as well. So let's do that. I'm getting. Universe, give me a four of hearts, friend. So fast. All you need is water. Then there is rest and rejuvenate. Universe, give me two more cards. The sun and the middle way, the line between opposite extremes. Scorpio. Jenna energy is fears will make you question it. Yeah, so this is them trying to gaslight with the fears make you question it. Rest and rejuvenate. You guys probably haven't talked for a while. And then they try to reappear like nothing happened. Um, 
but i feel like with a scorpio and this card too here this is your energy like you are changing you are transforming you had enough basically okay um and with the sun and you seeing the situation for what it is and you seeing them for who they are as well too Universe, give me a three card spread, and let's just see her for Pisces. So, forgiveness, gratitude, and courage, and freedom. Yeah, so with them, I feel like this person wants you to forgive them. Okay, I do see that this person's being more. I feel like this person do appreciate you, it's just like they feel like they can. They think that they can get away with stuff. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Um, then there's a courage. This could just be them being bold of trying to reappear or trying to um, create this tactic. But you see them for what they're doing. Like, you see them for what it is, basically. Um, and then I got the freedom. So, a lot of you guys can feel like their heart really is not into it. And I feel like you guys not into it, too. You Like, you're you're over them, too. So, it's like you feel like there's no point okay of this connection i might name it that let's see what else i'm getting okay so universe give me a big heart spread the person that's on pisces mind would like to say to pisces success perseverance trust um abundance and honesty okay so and then change so what they would like to say is that it's like they want you to they want you to believe what they got to say okay and i feel like they are going to be more emotionally present um with the success and perseverance i feel like this is them like probably over promising things not really keeping their promises okay and they would like to say that they have changed but things will change okay um i do see them being more emotionally there emotionally present but it's I feel like it's more so as a way to make you like feel like there's still something in this connection. But a lot of you guys can feel like there's nothing in this connection anymore, okay? So let's see what else I'm getting. universe give me a four card spread i'm not sure you have for pisces okay got a lot of cards here so we got the crown chakra the ace of cups the tower eight of wands eight of cups again and then sacro chakra two one only four ones par um partnership alliances and mental conflict general energy is wisdom the hyphen now some of you guys um you have met someone else okay um, and if you have not met someone else, I feel like, again, you're over this. I feel like you want something new. Um, with the tower, I feel like it's more so like a breakthrough and epiphany. Probably this was going on for a while and you guys been wanting to finally break free. You feel like this is a perfect opportunity to just break free. Okay. So I just see you guys are over the situation. This is someone who's like not emotionally, um, invested, but they want to still connect with you and you just see the BS and you just, you're done. <laughs> okay. So, All right, so universe, give me a four card spread. So there's a detective. Oops, I have to that. Universe, can you get my cards? Child Divine. Universe, can you get my cards? There is Seeker, Mentor. Some of these cards came out for Sagittarius. Prostitute. Yeah, so you don't you don't like this person energy and also like the energy that they created 
and this connection too. Like you may feel like this really didn't have no love in it, okay? And you're just tired of it. <laughs> like you're you're not going to be wasting your energy, your emotions, your time, and your love um, with this person, okay? Um, with the detective, you kind of found something out about them more too. Like probably they had another connection, another relationship as well. We have four card spread. Let's just see you have four Pisces. Okay, right, so with the next few weeks, if you believe, ask your angels. No need to worry and listen to your intuition. Okay, so some of you guys know that this person was going to reappear. You could just feel their energy. Um, but I feel like with ask your angels, this is more like you um, listening to your intuition. Um, and your intuition is trying to say, get out. Like the time is now to get out. Okay. Um, with the next few weeks, it could be like you meeting someone new for the completely single ones, for the ones who, um, who have been talking to someone new, who have been dealing with someone new. I do see there's a lot of opportunities, um, a lot of potential, I mean, for this can grow. Okay. Give me a two card spread. What messages do you have for Pisces? Okay, three cards. Love based reality, yep. So journey and appreciation. Grace, yeah. So I feel like with this card again, you want to be with someone who actually genuinely love you unconditionally, who giving you pure love energy, loving you through their action. And you're not getting this from you're not getting that from this connection. And I feel like a lot of you guys are just not going to get connected to the wrong person okay so there is grace so when i open to the deep source of grace the flow of my life feels effortless and vibrant okay then there's love-based reality i'm so nurtured when i surround myself with friends and family who support love-based reality um then there is soul's journey living from the soul opens me to the magic that exists when i surrender to divine manifestation on its own term and timing and then there is appreciation. Appreciating the good that exists in my here and now. Expand my awareness to all that is good in the universe. Okay. So I like the ending. I love the reading <laughs> towards the end. So that's the reading that I have for you, Pisces. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a person with me at QueenFitzHero at gmail.com.